Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how um, I go to shower, how I basically like set up my commode, how I transfer onto it. Um, and yeah, so the first thing that um, I wanna touch on is basically my braking system. Um, so basically I have like my regular brake that I, that I use and then underneath the brake I have this thing called the anti-reverse wheel lock where when I set this on it prevents my wheels from going backwards uh, which is a function that I use to uh, set up my chair in the shower or you use it to go kind of up the hill uh, up my ramp and stuff like that so you're not rolling backwards while you're pushing um, okay so mentioned in my previous video I have a roll-in shower um, and I do have my commode in there. So the way I've set up my commode, um, the brakes aren't exactly the best. So I found when I was transferring onto the commode, it would just always move around. So what I've done, I've set up the commode so it's like the wheels are against the wall, so it's not moving anywhere. Um, and then also I'll put the armrest up so I'm able to transfer. Uh, I've tucked the foot plate up on one side and tucked it in on and rolled it in on the other side so I'm able to come in with my chair and kind of um, uh, transfer onto it. So coming into transfer the first thing that I do is use my anti-reverse wheel lock. I'll put it down the one that's closer to the commode then I'll come towards the commode um, quite tight and the idea is to basically like lock the commode against the wall with the chair so it doesn't move anywhere. Um, and then once I'm here and it doesn't move anywhere, I'll put the other anti-reverse wheel lock on so my chair doesn't go anywhere, basically. So on my commode, I usually have my phone block, which I take to put on the ground, um, and then my transfer board as well. Um, okay, so putting it on the ground just helps with um, my feet not dropping when I'm trying to transfer. So I'll put it in so it acts as the floor being a little bit higher. Then um, to transfer, like I've done it in my previous video, I don't usually cross my leg to put the board underneath me. Then grabbing my board, um, I use an ADI board with the um, with grippy tape on the end. Um, so the grippy tape goes towards the commode, towards where I'm going to be transferring. And then I'm crossing my leg here. Um, and every single time I've transferred, I normally try to have uh, pants on. I actually normally uh, wear a looser pair of pants because it's easier to take off once I'm on the commode. Um, but it just makes it easier to, to glide on the, on the transfer board. Um, okay, so let's uh, begin the transfer. Okay, so I'll set my hand where I'm going to be pushing on the cushion, on the front of the cushion, and then the other one on the edge of the transfer board. Shift my weight forward and then push to glide on the board. I'm here. And I might lift up here to get out of the hole. And then get under and I'll put my elbow on my thigh to lift the, my leg up so I can take my board out. Um, then I'll put my armrest down, hook behind here so I can put my foot plate, move my feet actually kind of like out of the way a little bit so I can bring my foot plate down on the commode. the other one on here too. Give me a little bit of a base of support so I can grab the block that's on the floor off. So bending forward. Put the block on here. bring it up and then I'll put it on the chair here um, 
Yeah, and then moving the chair backwards. So I'll normally um, won't put too much weight on the chair, but that's the thing with the wheel lock. Just lifting it up, it's easy to just lift it up to get the chair rolling. So then I'll roll the chair out that way. And then undo the other one as well. And then that's when I push the chair out to get it out of the shower. So I'm able to turn around with the commode. Then bringing the other foot out, foot foot out, and down again, walking behind here to give me a bit of support so I can put my foot up there. Okay, and now I'm ready to turn around so I can shower. Okay, so we're taking the brakes off. So I can move, rotate and move forward. So then I can turn around to shower. So I've been like pushing on my uh, on my wheels. I found they have more grip than the actual hand rim. Um, I normally like will push my wheelchair a little bit too while I pivot over. Um, bit of a tight space, so sometimes I have to have one or two takes to turn over basically. But there you go. So now setting myself up so I can shower. Look at the wall here. Put the brake on one side. And the brake on, on the other side. And then normally I'll bring the, got my curtain right here to close the curtain. Do my thing, shower, and then open up the curtain. So then I'll take off my brakes here to start backing up, turning around so I can grab my towel, my towel and then set myself up to transfer back. Going here, rotating. It's a big tight space, so you have to kind of maneuver yourself around. Um, I'll only come in here to break on while I grab my towel. Grab my towel, start drying myself off and stuff, then let me set it up so it's like in between my legs. And I can start rolling back to transfer back. Taking my break up here. And turning around. Sometimes I like to move the chair back and forth too to give my wheelchair back and forth to be able to go around and stuff. Um, only when I come here, I'll have to start getting my chair closer. So again, I'll put my brakes on to grab the chair so it's a bit closer. So I'm able to grab it once I'm back there. And again here. Again, like wheeling myself back here, putting the wheels against the wall. So I can set myself up with my chair. The brakes on. And then I'll set my towel on the side here while I maneuver my wheelchair towards me. Um, first thing that I do is bring my foot onto 
the other foot through here. Then lean on the armrest here. Lift the foot, plate up here. And then twist foot plate inside so I'm able to bring my chair in to lock my chair in. And then I'll grab behind here, grab my chair. On my chair, I'll put the anti-reverse wheel lock on and then bring my chair forward here. Um, there's also like the casters on the commode, so I normally like bring the wheel close to there and get it to slowly rotate. chair to be close to here so it's like it locks the commode kind of towards the chair so the commode or the chair can't go anywhere then I'll lean on the chair slightly to put the other wheel lock on on the other side so the chair doesn't go backwards so you can kind of like test it out to see what's going on um, then again I'll grab that purple block block on the floor um, the other caster that's here I'll roll it out of the way also so I can put the block where I need to put it And then um, I'll roll my, bring my feet off the foot plate on my commode, so I can roll that up. And then using the chair as a base support to put the foot plate up on the commode. Okay, bring myself back up. Then I would put the transfer board underneath me. So again, um, crossing my legs. Right, I normally try to bring my leg on the other side of the foot plate thing to kind of keep my leg crossed that way. Um, then this is when I will grab my towel, which is normally, because normally we unfold it and stuff too, so. Because normally I wouldn't have my pants on anymore, so it's hard to slip around on the board when you have, like, your wet skin. So I normally put, like, a little bit of the towel underneath here. Um, grab my board. Take the armrest up. Take the board again, taking a look where the grippy tape is. And then slipping the board. So I will like, with my elbow on this side, I'll lift myself up to lift my bum cheek up. So I'm able to lift the board, put the board underneath me. It's stable. So once that's there, um, then I'll uncross Bring my towel over onto the board and uncross my leg. And then I normally would bring my leg onto my wheelchair's foot plate. Um, and then bring the towel a little bit this way so I can put my hand on the board and slowly 
transfer forward onto beak mode. down onto the center of the cone so I can like shift my legs over. And yeah, and then transferring over onto the wheelchair. That will help like slip on the board rather than trying to slide on the board with wet skin. And then once I'm here, you know, I don't need to go over and cross my legs again. Take the board out from underneath me. back on the chair and then the towel as well so I don't make because it's, sometimes it's stuck on me so I'll use my teeth to pull it up and cross my legs treat my foot on the foot plate and then go down to grab the purple block Bring that up with my teeth and I'm on the code here and then I take my wheel my wheel locks off roll backwards with this one so I can take the other one off and then roll backwards and then normally once I've rolled backwards because of my transfer back here, like the commode will be set for the next time that I shower. Um, yeah, and that's basically my shower transfer.